right, all right. So we tested out the CLP mud motor. We got our speeds. We got all kinds of different stuff. So first off, it was one person. We got speeds for that right here. That was about 18 miles an hour. Uh, sometimes we hit 19, but it never stayed at 19. It always stayed at 18, and sometimes it would vary and hit 19. But that was wind to our back, going with the wind, with the current, and it was pretty calm waters. Second was two people. We stayed the same speed, 18 miles an hour. We never hit 19, though. When we came up current, we only went 15 miles an hour, and that was the same with one person and two person speeds. Did not change at all on this 1436 loop craft. I think the reason for that is. So for one person and two person speed tests, they were the same, going up and back, um, going upstream and downstream. Now, I think the the reason for that is that with one person this boat dogs a little bit so you can handle it you have less weight and you have the same speed when you have two people it planes out a lot better so that you can get that mud motor riding a little better than when it's really dogging um, now the problem with this mud motor is that I have done everything in my power that I have to get this to ride right and I cannot get it to ride correctly on this Alumacraft 1436 Jumbo. How many planes are going to go by? There I go. Alright. So everything in my power to try and get this mud motor, the CLP Beaver Dam mud motor to run right and I cannot get it right. Um, first issue, it's Alumacraft. The transom bracket is very steep. That gimbal, if you put it on the outside, you bottom out on the mount. So now you gotta put it on the inside of the boat. When you do that, it brings that mud motor further up. So that prop goes closer to the boat and you miss that wake. So that's a big problem. Now, you do have the, the mounting holes that you can move that motor back, but that puts more tail weight so it's harder to handle. So I put that all the way back to try to reach that, that crest, that, that perfect spot where you want it and it's just it's unbearable to try not unbearable but it is just difficult no fun to ride just not good um just not fun it is very hard very difficult to handle and i would not recommend it for this boat if it had the 100 inch shaft it may ride right i'm going to email clp and see what they say and see if they can give me any pointers that I didn't already do. It wants to keep jumping out of the wake um, because it just falls too short. I tried bending the skeg to try to keep it right and straight and to stay in there and that didn't fix it at all. I tried moving down prop sizes, didn't change it at all. Um, that eight and a half is what I did the speed test with and with that, it was almost governing out. I mean, I think it was. So I could probably go to a bigger prop size. With two people, it rode perfect, or it was hitting the RPM range about right. So just setting it up, not good. And, um, trying to get it to ride right, and it doesn't ride right. Um, that was yesterday, we did speed tests, and that's how that went. Today, we did the wheelless test, and that didn't go good. The weedless prop, they sent me a seven and a seven and a half inch prop. Seems way too small for this motor. Seven and a half inch prop, this motor spins it, no problem. So we're going to, uh, I mean, I tested it out. That's why I'm here. Uh, it was in the shade, but it's Florida, so it's starting to get a little sunny out. So um, broke down in the shade because um, the prop is weedless but the handle is not. Um, I was rowing with it, tried to spin the boat around, and this is just some heavy, thick vegetation that you would be running through with a mud motor, and the uh, handle came loose. So thankfully the kill switch worked, and I used the kill switch to turn the motor off so I didn't end up in the bushes. Um, well, my boat's 
full of spiders, crickets, seeds, leaves, and now they're making spider webs. And my handle just came loose. Didn't know what to do, so I just pulled the safety. Now I gotta fix it. Looks a little goofy. Doesn't make me happy. But at least I'm in the shade. That's a good thing, right? It's hot in Florida. So another thing that I don't like about this kit is that you have a handle that is boom, boom, and boom. It sits up here if you sit down. It is unbearable. Yeah, move it to the side. Great. I can turn this way, but when I go to turn that way, oh my goodness, no. It does not work. Um, I tried it. Just not a good handle. Not happy with it. Um, maybe I was spoiled at first with my SPS. It handled perfect. I had no issues whatsoever. But comparing this to the SPS that I had, it's it's way below the standards. Uh, I tested it fair and square. I wanted it to do good. But I've done everything in my power to try to get this to ride right. And it does not. It is awful to handle not fun um, the first day I was hyped I wanted to try it my new big motor go faster two times the speed um, didn't get the speed I wanted but that's also because it's not riding right but with it not riding right it was not fun to handle so coming out today was like a oh man I gotta handle this beast again it's um, not fun so uh, hopefully the other kits will do better um, I'm gonna message uh, Beaver Dam today and see what they say. I'll mention a few of the issues that I have and uh, what I encountered with their product and maybe they'll change it. Maybe they can give me some tips that I didn't already do. But I did it to the best of my knowledge and I think that's a fair good amount of uh, for that kit. And, um, keep on to jump out on you. Always got to be pulling up, horsing it, trying to keep it in the water. When you when you don't horse it and you just let it go, it just keeps shooting out and you bog down and slow down so it finally sinks. And then when it gets slow enough, you go fast again. And then as soon as it gets fast again, it shoots out and then it just you go slow again it sinks down it's sort of just like a, a jerking motion this kit is not doing too hot i wouldn't put it at the bottom yet because i haven't tested the other two but hopefully these other two kits don't do this bad because i almost feel unsafe operating this thing knowing that the handle just twist at any moment i had those bolts tightened down too they were tight not good see you next video